Welcome to Propeller U. In this module, we will be going over how to plan a flight with the Phantom 4 RTK drone. If you haven't already activated or set up your drone, please go back and watch the Phantom 4 RTK setup module. Some of the drone settings are easier to complete before you go out in the field. We recommend getting in the habit of checking a few settings regularly. In most cases, once you've completed these, they remain set, but there is always a chance they can revert back to factory settings especially if you've recently performed a firmware update. Let's go through these. The first thing to check is to make sure that you are logged into the controller. You will need Wi-Fi to log in. The controller will automatically log you out after about 60 days. While you do not need Wi-Fi to fly the drone, you do need to be logged into the controller to access the mission settings and to invoke the mission. Swipe down from the top of the controller screen to display Wi-Fi login. Being logged in also allows you to load the base map on the controller which you'll need to plan a mission in the field. The next thing you'll want to check is that you're using a high quality SD card and it is in the drone. For more information, visit our knowledge base article on recommended SD cards. Remember, it's important to have a backup of your surveys on your SD card, either through uploading them to the platform or onto your computer. We also recommend reformatting your SD card before you get out into the field. It is always a best practice to reformat your SD card before each new day of data capture. To format your SD card, insert the micro SD card into the drone. Remember that the pins will face up toward you. Make sure you have removed both the protective clamp and the foam stabilizer above the aircraft's camera. Failure to remove these before turning on the drone can damage the gimbal motor during the aircraft startup sequence. Power on the drone and controller using the GS RTK app. From the main menu, tap Fly. Tap the camera options icon on the right. Tap the gear icon on the upper right section of the menu bar that appears. Tap Format SD card. Tap OK to confirm the changes. For more information, please read how to format a micro SD card for the Phantom 4 RTK in the knowledge base. Another setting you will want to check is the aircraft RTK positioning, which needs to be turned off. The Propeller PPK workflow utilizes post-processing kinematics to process the survey data, so it's important that it's turned off. Make sure the drone and the controller are both turned on. Tap Fly. Tap the three dots in the upper right corner of the screen. Tap RTK. Make sure the aircraft RTK positioning is toggled off. And finally, one of the more critical things to check is for any airspace restrictions at your site before you get there. You should always check the airspace before you leave the office, even if you have flown the site before. Airspace restrictions can change rather frequently, so it's important to make sure you are prepared if you need to perform a self-unlock or obtain a custom unlock. There are a number of ways you can check to make sure there aren't any airspace restrictions. Air Map, Open Sky, or DJI Fly Safe. For more information on how to check airspace, please visit our knowledge base. Now we're ready to plan a mission. Tap the Plan button in the bottom left of the home screen. In most cases, 2D photogrammetry is the best planning method. However, there are certain cases where another planning method should be selected. Please visit our knowledge base to learn more about 3D photogrammetry and linear missions. Using your finger on the controller, select the area you want to cover during the mission. The blue dot indicates where the controller is located. If you make a mistake, you can move the node by holding and dragging it with your finger to the desired location. You can also long tap the node you want to edit and delete it by tapping the red trash can in the upper right corner. Another option is to refine it by tapping the waypoint tuning tool. All the adjustable settings for the mission are located in the right hand column. If the column isn't visible, hold the tab button to expose it. The height setting should be between 260 and 400 feet, or about 80 to 120 meters. The height is a balance of how fast you would like to complete the survey and the ground sampling distance that you need. 260 to 400 feet is a good range to satisfy this requirement. Remember, the controller uses meters. Speed can be set to the max speed allowable. The controller will calculate the max speed appropriate for the mission you have planned. If you're flying a rather small area, 
the maximum allowable speed will decrease so the drone has enough time to make turns safely. For the PPK workflow, the drone must be in the air for a minimum of 10 minutes. The speed can be adjusted to increase the time the drone is in the air collecting data. By decreasing the flight speed, you will increase the amount of time it takes to complete the mission. Keep in mind that in low light conditions, reducing the speed will help eliminate motion blur. Shooting mode should be set to distance shooting. This allows the drone to capture images with consistent overlap. Wind and weather conditions can affect how consistent the overlap is if time shooting is chosen. So it's always best to choose distance shooting. The finish setting should be set to return to home. This setting programs the drone to fly back to the home point once the mission is completed. The next setting you'll want to adjust is the camera settings. Photo ratio sets how much of the image can be deleted. By setting it to 3-2, you'll utilize the entire sensor. Setting the photo ratio to anything else will delete data. White balance is set based on the conditions of the day. The only white balance settings you'll need to be concerned with are cloudy and sunny. If clouds have reduced the sunlight, use cloudy. If it's a bright sunny day, use sunny. The gimbal angle should always be set at negative 90 for 2D photogrammetry missions. This setting points the camera directly down to capture images. Toggle the shutter priority on. This setting tells the camera that a fixed shutter speed must be used. Setting the shutter priority to about 1000 is usually a good place to start for sunny conditions. In low light conditions, reduce the shutter speed to 800. Distortion correction should be turned off. Leaving the distortion correction off allows the photogrammetry software to undistort the images itself. Then tap the save button. Next, we'll set the advanced settings. The side and forward overlap settings tell the camera how much of each image should overlap. This provides redundancy if an image is low quality and can't be used. The overlap from the surrounding images should be sufficient for the photogrammetry software to stitch the images together to create the model. Using 75% front and 75% side overlap is a good place to start. The lower the detail on the surface below, such as when there's snow cover, the higher your overlap should be. If you have a large area to survey, you can look at reducing the horizontal overlap to increase the area you can cover per battery, but don't go lower than 60%. For your margin setting, set it to manual and zero. For safety reasons, we recommend setting it to manual. Using the setting forces the drone to stay within your designated boundary. As long as you have sufficient side and front overlap, you will still capture some information outside your survey boundary. Hit the save button, then hit save again. Name your mission. Once you've saved a mission, it will always be available to you for future surveys. All the settings will be saved, but you should revisit the white balance setting if the weather conditions have changed since your last survey. There are two ways to access your saved missions. The first option is to hit the three white bars on the upper left. Make sure Plan is selected in the drop-down menu. Select Saved Mission. The second option is to click Fly. Click on the page icon on the left side Make sure Plan is selected in the drop-down menu. Select Saved Mission, then tap within the mission boundary on the controller screen. Click OK. You'll see the window to edit the mission settings displayed on the right-hand side. Scroll down to Camera Settings. Both White Balance and Shutter Priority are in this menu. Click Save. Click Save again to get back to the screen that lets you invoke the mission. The course angle is the course your drone will fly to complete the mission. We recommend letting the drone plan the most efficient course until you are a more experienced pilot. For more information, please visit our knowledge base and read up on changing the course angle. Thank you for watching. For more information about how to plan a mission, you can access the supporting material for this module, or you can check out our knowledge base.